So today's video is on the hot coin this month, Lisk. This one has been exciting in so many different aspects, especially if you own this coin. So hopefully after going through this whole entire PTMGS analysis, it just gets you even more excited to own or possibly invest in Lisk. Hey there YouTube, I'm Jean with CryptoPix. So of course, I want to begin thanking all my new and old subscribers, everyone who is viewing my, my videos, I appreciate all of you. You guys just give me that awesome and amazing push to do more and more content as often as possible. So I'm, it's just super exciting to do this for you guys and I get so much kind and constructive words from so many people and I appreciate it so much, thank you. Also remember, I got my Discord link in the description if you want to come in and kind of just talk personal with a few of us. It's always fun and super helpful. We're always looking for those gems and just discussing crypto in general. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, especially if you haven't subscribed already. Well, let's get started. So what is PTMGS? It's a problems I solve, the project idea, potential for generating revenue, the team, marketing, market cap, now what used to be short slash long-term goals is now the goals and then summary slash stars rating that I'll, I will rate this coin. So what problems is Lisk trying to solve? This is fairly straightforward. Entry barriers. Lisk wants to be the framework for the blockchain. Make developing on the blockchain as simple as possible through JavaScript. So what about Lisk's project idea? Lisk is a blockchain application platform built in JavaScript that enables developers to create, distribute, and manage decentralized blockchain apps by deploying their own sidechains linked to the Lisk network, including a custom token. The Lisk mainframe offers stability and security while sidechains are utilized to have unlimited flexibility. With the flexibility of sidechains, developers can implement and customize their own blockchain applications entirely and they don't have to confront the complexity of creating a blockchain from scratch. So what about the potential for generating revenue? Lisk uses a delegated proof of stake, meaning every Lisk holder can vote for a main chain delegate, which are securing the network. There are only a maximum of 101 active main chain delegates, which, have, which always have the most votes on the whole network. And only they can earn block generation rewards. That means there's a financial incentive to become an active delegate. LISK or LSK is used for fees to generate transactions and to also use the system. Now for, of course, one of the most important parts in my opinion, the team. So since the team is so large, I'm only going to point out the stars and the superstars, which is pretty much fairly standard for all my videos now, unless it's a super duper tiny team. The first star we have is Isabel Dell. She is a system architect and has experience at Cerner Corporation as a database admin and system engineer, and also worked at Sharp Healthcare as a technical solutions architect. Then we have Juan Gonzalez, who is a DevSops engineer at LISC. He gets a star for his developer experience at the University of Minnesota, along with he has a little over 10 years of experience in the developer space. Next, we have Nazar Hassan. He is a backend developer at Lisk, and he gets his star because of his developer experience at Nextbridge. He has been in the developer space since 2002. After that, Tobias Suarez. He is the next star, which he's a full stack developer at Lisk, and he's getting his stars because of his experience as a blockchain consultant at Waves. After that, our first superstar is Kuba Kufel. He is the marketing manager at Lisk, and he worked at Microsoft as a B2B marketing st strategist. Our next star is Lindsay Busher. She is the marketing manager at Lisk, and she gets her star for her experience as a senior manager at Carrot USA, and she's been in the marketing business for over 10 years. Our final star, Majid Baj, I'm not sure if I said his name right. He is the core developer at Lisk, and he was a full stack developer at Nokia for three years. So Lisk definitely has a huge team with some superstars and more stars. I could not find any of Lisk advisors anywhere though, which kind of surprises me a bit. And it's a bit disappointing, to be honest. Next we have marketing. So Twitter, super active with announcements, updates, and news. I'm not gonna actually scroll through their Twitter anymore. I don't feel like it was giving enough value to the analysis. After that, we have Medium. 
articles related to developer updates and announcements with some very detailed information about the project. Great resource if you're just trying to find anything that the website doesn't have. Facebook, it's active with announcements and updates. I could not find any YouTube for the Lisk team, but there's plenty of material from other YouTubers. Now, Telegram, they didn't have a Telegram, but they do have their own community chat and developer chat. And the team is actually active in the community chat where you can ask questions and they're actually pretty active and respond fairly quickly. Reddit, we got super active with the community. This is actually pretty common for almost every project. Also, second phase of marketing starts once rebranding is complete and the alpha version of the SDK is released. And they plan to ramp up on marketing efforts significantly in order to get early adopters familiar with the platform and toolkit. So marketing activities include the SDK workshop, hackathons, and a mini conference or mini conferences. Third phase begins once first side chains are deployed and applications are actually being developed. These activities revolve around educating the general public. So they're going to have a LISC Academy, which will be launched and then online advertising will use to further expand online reach. So the marketing is actually pretty impressive here. So now the competition. For this part, I'm using my chart that I created for Nebulio with adding LISC and ARC. This gives us a better idea where LISC stacks up in simple terms to its competition. Obviously, there's a lot more detail I can add and I will add once I get this information for all of these platforms. Plus, the more platforms that come out, the more I can add so we get a better idea just how they all stack up against each other. Now the market cap, right now we're looking at $984 million, was actually just above 1 billion not too long ago. It's currently sitting around $8.62, 110,000 sets. The all time high was actually yesterday at $11.03, 147,000 sats. Again, yesterday, 114 million circulating supply. 114 million total supply, which this goes up in inflation. There's a lot more details on the medium or website. The volume for the last 24 hours is $54 million and was over $100 million yesterday. Exchanges, we got my favorite three, at least for this coin, Bitrix, Poloniex, and HitBTC. They don't have Binance yet, kind of sucks. So we got two charts. The first one is the one right above me is the history of Lisk from day one. Would have been awesome to get in late 2016, mid 2017. And we can definitely see that LISC is rocketing right now. And if you check out to the chart to the side of me, that's a three month chart, which shows the coin was under $3 just three months ago. And we can see it's gone over, well, about three times as much, hitting $9. It's pretty exciting. And the future is super exciting for LISC, which you'll see right now. So now for the goals, I'm going to be super vague here because I'm not trying to take a bunch of your time giving so much detail that you fall asleep. <laughs> we got the inception, main chain stabilization, merging LISC CLI into the LISC app SDK, and then LISC app SDK stabilization. Then we have something, the next one they call resilience, which is rebranding, which at the end of this, I'll kind of talk about that a little bit more. We got LISC daemon tools decoupling the UI from the back end and then LISC app SDK modulization, then basic application features. And they're talking delegate marketplace, versioning scheme and update mechanisms, and then application panel. We got the mobile client and then code rewrites. Next we have expansion, which has to do with advanced application features, sidechain explorer, and then sidechain security, smart contract support, third party technology support, and then Ascent, which is trustless blockchain apps, proof of stake, security, optimization, scalability, and possible consensus change, and then Eternity, which is decentralized voting mechanisms. So remember, you can go to their medium, get as much details you want about each section of this roadmap I just mentioned. Also, now the big thing I want to talk about is November 22nd is LISC conference, which we are expecting some huge news, some big announcements. We got People are speculating the SDK release announcements, partnerships announcements, and the rebranding announcement. Again, this is what I think is driving up the price. And then after this, if it's some good news, could drive it up from like 20, maybe $30. Super exciting, especially if you got in early. That's some huge, huge gains. So to summarize LISC, they are super exciting right now. Obviously the most exciting coin at this moment. 
They have huge announcements coming up, as I just stated. They have a large and talented team. 2018 looks ridiculous and could be huge for this company. This could be one of the biggest gainers in the near future, especially if they do the marketing well. They're very active community, huge plus, especially if you go to the community chat. Of course, always there, answering questions, awesome to see. The real question is though, should you jump into Lisk at $9? I honestly think this could easily hit $20 in a week and way more than that through 2018. Sky is the limit, they just have to execute right. With that being said, I'm giving Lisk four and a half stars. So I think there's a lot of positive of Lisk. So much huge news coming out this month. The negatives are super slim. Then there's no advisors I could find. And they have some extreme in some of the best coins as their competition. So it'll be interesting to see what happens to this platform. Let me know what you think of Lisk. Are you jumping in now or have you already jumped in? Are you excited about Lisk? These announcements coming up? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching my video on Lisk. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.